Blackman SPAC, the biggest in history, dropping a deal to buy 10 percent of Vivendi's flagship Universal Music Group. Pershing Square Tontine Holdings agreeing to buy that stake last month, you'll remember, for about $4 billion. But the SPAC announcing early this morning that the board had unanimously decided uh, not to proceed with the purchase. In a letter to shareholders, Bill Ackman said the decision was driven by issues raised by the SEC about several elements of the proposed transaction, in particular, whether the structure would have qualified under NYSE rules. Now, Ackman said they would now pursue a conventional SPAC merger, uh, something else. So they're going to now, there's going to be a, effectively a new deal over the next 18 months they've got to go buy something. Pershing's SPAC price has fallen 18 percent since the UMG purchase was announced on June 4th. Ackman said he underestimated shareholders' reaction uh, to the complexity of all of it. Remember that structure that we've talked about, Joe said we've, we were all sort of struggling to, to sort of make sense of how it would all work. Ackman said that Pershing still intends to become a long-term shareholder of UMG after its public listing in Amsterdam in September. And we will continue to talk about this uh, with the man himself, Bill Ackman, who's going to join us in an exclusive interview. That's going to happen at 8 a.m. Eastern time, Joe. Uh, sometimes uh, complexity can be too <laughs> complex. And uh, here we I are. Remember, um, I, I thought at the time, and I will tell you that when you were talking about it, I started looking into it. And then I just decided, you know what, I'm going to delegate this. Uh, I, I, Andrew's going to, uh, it's going to be his role uh, in this particular instance. But di didn't you mention that uh, at the time that there were certain things that weren't quite the same as some of the others that would, uh, that would qualify for being able to do it and that, that someone might see that and point that out and it, it would not be able, I, I remember well, you the, having some If you remember, this questions. is a three, you know, most SPACs, the way they're structured is it you buy one other asset. This was not that. This was effectively you were buying stock. Uh, now, if you read the rules, and I'm sure when we talk to Bill Ackman, uh, he, he will make the case that uh, what he was doing was within the rules. But clearly, the SEC was raising questions about this transaction. The timing of the questions and the answers, meaning when that this could all get sorted out, if it was going to get sorted out, uh, appear to have presented a problem insofar as this deal had to close, according to the contract, the agreement with Vivendi yeah. uh, by September. And because so many questions were being asked, it was it's hard to believe or it would have been hard to believe. And I believe it's why effectively uh, this decision was made, that it would have been able that they would have been able to uh, have those uh, questions answered to the fulfillment uh, or satisfaction, if you will, of the SEC. And so here we are. It appears that Pershing Square, his hedge fund, which effectively had backstopped this transaction, will now effectively be buying those shares, uh, if you will. Uh, so he will be eating his own cooking uh, in very many ways, even more so, uh, in fact. But we're going to talk to him about all of this, uh, what's happening uh, with this particular transaction. But I also want to talk to him uh, a bit about what's going on in the marketplace this morning. Um, he did have some very strong views, as you'll remember, Joe, uh, about COVID the first time around. And uh, here we are with the Delta variant. And of course, we may uh, talk a bit about uh, inflation yep. and uh, how that's and, and playing out. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.